U.S. authorities say they've arrested two top figures from Mexico's notorious Sinaloa drug cartel right here in the borderland. Good evening, I'm John Purvis. Ismael El Mayo Zambada is the cartel's co-founder, while Joaquin Guzman Lopez is the son of the Sinaloa cartel's other founder, El Chapo Guzman. CBS 410's Eileen Arrera is live at the Doniana County International Jet Port in Santa Teresa to let you know what she's learned about the arrests and their significance. John, as you mentioned, Ismael El Mayo Zambada and Joaquin Guzman Lopez were captured here. And according to an employee, they were both in that plane that you can see here on your screen just seconds before surrendering themselves to law enforcement. Both men are part of the Sinaloa cartel and are amongst the most wanted by law enforcement. This is a, a big, big deal. Uh, for the El Paso uh, area, but also for Mexico, the United States, and actually all over the world because uh, uh, these two uh, individuals uh, were responsible along with the rest of the Sinaloa cartel in uh, bringing massive amounts of uh, fentanyl into the United States. According to Justice Department Attorney General Merrick B. Garland, 76-year-old Ismael El Mayo Zambada, the co-founder of the Sinaloa cartel, was captured along with 35-year-old Joaquin Guzman Lopez here in El Paso. Former U.S. Marshal Robert Almonte says there is a connection from the Sinaloa cartel to El Paso. There's no doubt the Sinaloa cartel has a presence in the El Paso area as far as being involved in drug smuggling as well as, as human smuggling. Uh, so this is a, a really a big deal and uh, I mean, I'm very excited and very happy to, to hear about this. Uh, Almonte says the legal process for the two drug lords will be different than when drug lord Chapo Guzman was captured. Is that Mayo Zambada and, uh, and Chapo Guzman's son were arrested here in the United States. So we don't have to worry about getting the Mexican government to extradite them to the United States. According to the U.S. Attorney General, both men are facing multiple charges for leading the cartel's criminal operations, including fentanyl manufacturing and trafficking networks. Almonte adding there could be even more. There's no doubt there's going to be a laundry list of, of, of charges on both of these individuals. And and I would, I would, uh, I would suspect that those charges are going to include, uh, obviously, drug trafficking, uh, human smuggling, human trafficking, uh, possibly uh, kidnapping, corruption related crimes, as well as possible uh, murder charges. Now, both Zambala and Guzman Lopez were lured to the area under the impression they would be looking at property to buy this, according to CNN. Now, HSI confirming just minutes before we went on the air that both men surrender themselves to U.S. authorities. I'm reporting live in Santa Teresa tonight. Eileen Herrera, CBS 4 at 10. Now take a look at this video. Just about an hour ago, CBS 4 cameras were rolling when a private jet took off from El Paso International Airport. And just minutes ago, Homeland Security investigations confirmed this departure is connected to the arrests of the two drug kingpins. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration released a statement tonight about the arrests of the two drug lords, saying their capture, quote, strikes at the heart of the cartel that is responsible for the majority of drugs, including fentanyl and methamphetamine, killing Americans from coast to coast, end quote. And Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorka said in a statement of his own, quote, Today, two of the cartel's alleged top leaders are in U.S. custody and will be brought to justice, end quote. We continue following this story for you on air and online at CBS4Local.com.